<laughs> what is up, guys? My name is Mark Santa Maria. We got a special guest today for the RC vlog. We got Mr. Peter Husser. What's up, everybody? Peter is the promoter of the RC Pro Series down here in the South. And he is also an avid racer. He's, he races everything. He races full size cars too, right? Everything. I've, I've been blessed. But everything RC. I mean, he's slow in RC, which is kind of weird. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> today, we're opening this thing. This is the Proline Ambush. I've been wanting to open this thing. I've ha I bought this so I could bring something into the office, and whenever I want to play with RC in the office, <laughs> I can play with it. Yes. And uh, right when Peter saw it, he goes, dude, that's like the, the I, ultimate. <laughs> I was so close to pulling the trigger on it. Kiss all productivity in the office goodbye. I mean, it's a perfect size for the desk. It is, and it, it's freaking awesome. It's got It's really scale, but we're going to open this thing up. We're about to do the podcast, so that's why we're drinking, because usually you got to kind of do some pre-drinking for the podcast. Loosens the nerves a little bit, but... Let's do this. A little pre-game. Do you have any of the other vehicles that Proline has come out with? I had the Proline Pro 2. I had that thing. So the know, SE? The, the short course, but yeah. I didn't, I raced it for a little bit, but then I, just too many classes, dude. You know how many classes I race. Yeah. So the first thing I noticed is that the Proline seal, dude, that's legit right there. Factory sealed. Yeah. I mean, it's not just a, a scrappy little seal there. I mean, it says Proline on the seal. That's that's part of the deal of getting a new toy. It's the little details yeah. like that that really make a difference, you know? All right, here we go. I love the display they put it on. Dude, I'm, it's like <laughs> don't rip that box. So it's on this little, uh, it's on this little box thing. Okay, here we got it, we got it. Yeah. All right, so it's on this little platform. Ooh, what's, what's in there? Lots of goodies. <laughs> lots of goodies. There's a lot of goodies in there? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's Look at you got, you got decal kits. You got a charger. This thing is ready. This thing is RTR. It is RTR. It is RTR. So here's your, you got a charger. You got your battery. It looks like the double. Okay, I was like, what are the double A's? Double A's for your... For the remote. For the remote. Yeah, I got you. That room has got a ball. <laughs> the, ball Look at the wheel wrench, dude. It's got a mini, <laughs> wheel, got a mini wheel, wheel wrench in here. That is awesome. So that's pretty cool. And then we got got some different different color schemes. Different color schemes. I'm gonna put this one on. The you green. Go with the green. The green. You gotta go with the green. The only thing is, I think you gotta put it over the stickers. I guess that's not a bad thing, right? I mean, it's not like it's gonna get bashed up on your desk. No. So you got you got your stickers. Then you have. Um, sorry, I checked the. Uh, it's like I was checking the live feed. <laughs> And then you got your manual, no and then needed. let's see the, uh, what, nothing else in there? Nothing else. See you got your radio. What, what sort of radio what is your Proline? The Proline radio. Sending out with their cars. I gotta, gotta give a big shout out to Proline. Um, they're always hooking me up. They're great sponsors and just, they, they have awesome products. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to choose any other tire deal besides Proline, but Proline is, Proline is awesome. around their new tires too. Oh yeah, they got a whole bunch of new. Just, so what's it got on there? Feel this remote. We got trim. You got everything. It's a little small, isn't it? Well, I mean, but like <laughs> the vehicle, though. I mean, it's for your desk. They they definitely do have all the features you need, though. I mean, you've got reversing of steering and throttle. You've got trim for steering and throttle. You've got dude. You've even got dual rate clickers. What? No. Yes, dude. So you got dual rate clickers on that thing. You've got a bind button on the back. You got a third channel. Like you're gonna get a little mini winch. That's uh, for for an RTR. That's pretty dope. It is a mini winch. You know what I notice about um, crawling is almost on all my cars. I like seventy five thirty on my throw. Yeah. Well, for crawling, I think it's better to do fifty fifty because you actually hit reverse a little bit, and you want that reverse. What do you do seventy thirty on yours? I just I'm I'm a fifty fifty split. All all my stuff is on. Everything you do is fifty fifty split. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. I don't do fifty fifty split. On I like race I thing. like brake modulation. Yeah. That's why I think it's a little bit better on the. Uh, the crawlers, but look at the scenery in that thing. I know that's out in Arizona or somewhere. We saw that. Look, <laughs> here's your scenery on the way to do the Nitro Challenge. If you if you didn't get to go, that's what you saw the entire way. <laughs> All right, so here it is. On on twisty ties, not bad. I'm gonna keep this uh, little platform it's on because this is what it's gonna go. It's, that's going straight to your desk. Oh, it's going. On. I'm gonna tape it to my desk and I'm gonna crawl on my desk. <laughs> so. Let's see. Yeah, soon I don't want to break it, dude. As soon as I saw you are doing an unboxing of this, it was bad news. Dude, you got leaf springs on that. It's got mini leaf springs, guys. Here, I think, so the body. So it's just like a mini scaler. From what I read, the body just... Sounds works. like Velcro. Oh, wait, you need to uh, take this. Oh. Perfect. Wait. 
So let y'all see the remote up there, but this thing has little leaf springs. No shocks, just leaf springs. <laughs> a little tiny motor. <laughs> yeah, micro, a tiny motor. It literally has a sticker on it, micro torque. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no no body clips. Well, I mean, it's it's small enough. You just Thanks velcro this thing up, and there's a little guy that sits inside. Yeah, this thing's gonna be fun. This is legit the first time I've seen this thing. So I'm, really? I'm totally fingering it. And that's pretty, that's pretty bad because you work at a hobby shop. So I you, think, know. you think you would see everything. I know. When I saw this sitting on the table, I was like, I've got to bring all my minis up here. <laughs> you have any minis? Oh, yeah. I've got all the RC28s. Really? Tyler would be proud. Absolutely. Well, I, well, no, hold I on, thought about picking that. a couple of them up today. I've got two of each one. One that I get to play with and then one when my son's born he gets his little RC cars. Which one's the best RC28 that you have? They're all the same, but i got to give it to the RC28. Just the original, like, RC10 model. The I mean, me? I, I the have old, one. The, the, the buggy one? Yeah, 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 yeah the, the two-wheel drive buggy. Yeah, I might have to pick one of those up. Yeah, they're super rad. They drive well. So, I'll do some, I'll do some close-up shots. No reason to actually get it up in there, but... It's actually pretty freaking cool. Little scale tires. What are these scale flat irons? I have these flat irons on work. Are they flat irons? Those are flat irons. Dude, that was... So when I started crawling, the flat iron had just come out. And then it went to the flat iron XL. And now they're on some other new hype tire. But The new hype tire is the... Uh, Hyrax. Hyrax. Yes. That's what I run. I know. Even though I haven't been crawling with you guys, dude, believe me, I still geek out on all that stuff. Pretty solid articulation here. Yeah, It'll break in. It'll break in. Be fun, dude. I, I get, You're going to have to do, do a follow-up video with playing with it. <laughs> I do. It's going to be Mark at work. <laughs> <laughs> it will be. So there you go. There you have the ambush. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. It's really freaking cool. I can't wait to play with it. It's a brush motor. What it's got it? a little skid plate on the bottom. Is the battery just internal? The it battery like is it? this battery right here. No. Yeah. Is that really the battery? Oh, yeah. it's a 350. It's a 352S. Oh, uh, lithium ion, that's not lipo, so you don't have to worry about it exploding, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's a perfect. That's the thing about bringing stuff in the office. I'm always scared it's going to. Well, no, with crawlers, set fire. you don't need a high C discharge. So, a lithium ion battery is going to be great for that. Yeah. It's going to hold a charge for a long time. I bet you, if I was to take a first guess, again, this is my very first. I didn't know what battery it came with. Uh -huh. I'd say you get an easy 20, 30 minutes out of that. Maybe 20 minutes. No. I'd say 20 minutes. You think so? What the size of that motor, dude? It's tiny. <laughs> that motor is tiny. It is. I'd, I'd say you get a good 20 minutes out of that battery. I mean, I don't think this thing's going to break. Let's see. The, are the discs, the discs are locked. So it's locked in, from it, the back. It's in crawl mode. Yeah. It's ready to crawl. Yeah, absolutely. So, oh, that thing's awesome. Yeah, I'll, have, I'll show you guys some clips whenever I actually get this thing running, but this is it. That was the unboxing. That's what it comes with. I, really I, I expect to see some video at work. I'll definitely do some video more. <laughs> what color would you go with? I don't know. I, I, I kind of dig. I kind of dig the colors it comes with, but at the same rate, if if I had the to, green's pretty pimp. I'd probably ditch all the accent colors and just go silver. Cause this is, I know that it's not licensed. So how much does this thing run? Uh, I, mean, I don't even know. I don't look. Those are the things that you don't look at whenever no, <laughs> yeah. you buy things like this. I think they're like uh, one forty nine or something like that. So. Actually, so I'm they're in the hundred to hundred fifty dollar range. You got me double checking. Keep they're talking, my bad. <laughs> no, so so I can tell you guys from my crawling experience, um, and I've been a total sucker to it. Anytime there's a licensed product, there's probably an unlicensed one oh, that's yeah. half the price, and and I'm a sucker for it. I mean, I've got licensed axles, I've got licensed drive shafts, I've got licensed bodies, and and everything costs twice as much. So. Although this isn't a licensed body, you can't tell me that's not an old Bronco 2. Yeah, that's an old Bronco 2. All day long. So I'd have to get rid of all the colors. They're 229 but they sell for 200 Street price is about 200 195 200 That's rad. Yeah, it's got I-Beam. I mean, it, it. I hate to say another brand, but I mean, it looks like a little SEX. All right, so i got to ask you a question because you do, you've done crawling. Yeah. And I got called out on one of my other videos. Uh-oh. You put weights in your tires? In Absolutely. Those? This guy was like, oh, that's a good idea. You're just going to mess it all up. It gives it more spring. I'm like, I think no, no, no. Yeah, the, the key is unsprung weight. So, and there's there's two there's two real big followings in crawling. There's heavy and weighted, and there's as light as possible. And I wasn't trying to go as light as possible. So, yeah, my, my wheels weigh probably, each of my wheels probably weighs as much as that. Rate. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's okay, though. Yeah, it's unsprung weight. 
That's what you want. Don't you put want weight. What's the difference between sprung, rate and, sprung weight and unsprung weight? It's weight that's supported by the suspension or not mm. by the suspension. So, so you want all your weight unsprung. Right, because anything that's supported by the suspension is naturally going to roll with the right. body. Gotcha. It's going to be more subject to incline, things like that. Everything up front and as low as possible. Like, yeah. all my weight is on the front axle and in the wheels. That's why I was confused at that guy's comment because, you know, you can buy the wheel weights on the actual crawlers. You can buy the wheel weights that go inside yeah. the wheel. And then you can also buy, like, the, uh, the brass portal covers and things like that that add yeah. weight down there. So what's the difference of putting in the wheel? It's in the same kind of you know area. The only thing is it spins. You have a little bit more rotating mass, but you're not looking for speed anyways on these things. No, yeah, and, and both both the axle and the tire are unsprung. Yeah, it's literally anything above that that can sometimes be a detriment. I mean, essentially, you're you know in racing we look for the lowest center of gravity, but in in this it's honestly I'd probably say it's more crucial because I know like on mine I can drag. You know, mine'll mine'll drag the rear bumper and just go straight up a hill. Whereas if if I had the weight up top, it's it's definitely gonna yeah. you know, it's gonna be more prone to rolling well, out and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah absolutely. And I think that guy even said something about spring weight anyways. Alright guys, well thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna I'm gonna post some more stuff on this thing. I'm gonna I might actually take it out to the creek. I, I can't wait for the desk crawl. I'm, I'm gonna I do can't desk, wait crawl. For the desk crawl. And I think I'm thinking I'm gonna pick up more of those uh, those RC twenty eight so I can race in the office. You know we have an um, oval track for that. Yeah, I we've got that. the oval track that's for that. Pretty, that's pretty freaking pan. That's what they're for. But if you like this video, smash that like button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. But thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all next time. Thanks a lot, guys.